You guys love SUVs. In 2023, Americans bought more than 8 million of the things. And when it comes to the luxury ones, well, we've driven, tested, and rated all of them. But before you go dropping big bucks on a luxury SUV, whether it's small or big or gas or electric, you're probably gonna wanna know which one's best, right? That's why we're here, so let's get to it. Say you don't need a ton of space and you want something fun and relatively efficient for under 50 grand. You can't do better than the BMW X1. The previous Gen X1 felt like a cheapish reskin of a mini countryman, and that's because it kind of was. But starting with last year's total redesign, BMW's smallest and most affordable SUV now has serious appeal. This little crossover is genuinely fun to drive, even if you skip over the sportier M35i variant. That's just BMW code for more power. There's also a surprising amount of space for people and cargo considering the small footprint, and BMW's tech is super impressive for the segment. Of course, to get the best tech, you'll have to shell out for some pricey options packages. This is still a BMW after all. Before we go, one pro tip. Turn off the auto start stop system. It can make pulling away from a stop feel rough and lurchy, and that's not very luxurious. For a little more cash, you can get a little more space. And once you spend some time in the Genesis GV70, you won't miss the BMW badge. Genesis, the luxury arm of Hyundai and Kia, took a few years to get its bearings alongside the Audis and Beamers of the world, but the GV70 absolutely rules. Ride quality is excellent and we dig the composed handling too. Plus, the GV70 is ultra comfy inside with plenty of space. Design is a strong point inside and out. What other automaker gives you this many paint and upholstery options in an SUV that's $50,000? The answer is not that many. We love almost everything about the GV70, but it'd be better with a few more interior storage options and the V6 only manages an estimated 20 MPG combined, but we'd happily give up a few miles to the gallon for the extra power. For a midsize option with more space and extra towing capability, you really can't go wrong with the Mercedes GLE. And you can choose between a more conventional looking body style or a swoopy coupe. The GLE has a killer engine lineup, including a basic four-cylinder, a smooth six-cylinder, a plug-in hybrid option, or a 600 horsepower hand-built V8. Basically, you got options. The Benz's interior is a major strength too. It's whisper quiet and the leather feels properly expensive. Mercedes also has a clever and super useful voice command system. But you see these goofy touchpads on the steering wheel? That's how you control the digital gauge cluster and they just feel clumsy. Also, don't get too excited about the optional third row because it's tiny and simply not fit for regular sized humans. If you're chasing a proper three row, you'll be better off in the Audi Q7. Nothing feels as solidly built as a Q7 in this space and the material quality is just exceptional. As you'd expect of an Audi, there are tons of impressive tech features. Seeing detailed maps in the dash cluster screen will never not be impressive. And it's a good way to avoid the slightly distracting main screen. The Q7 is a pleasant thing to drive too. Comfortable, but without sacrificing control. Although the Audi's third row is bigger than what you'd find in the GLE, things are still a little tight back there for adults. And with the third row in place, there isn't that much cargo room. Need more room and have even more space in your budget? Aim high and go for the Mercedes-Benz GLS. The biggest Benz on sale is our favorite among full-size luxury SUVs like the Escalade and the X7. The GLS is one of a few vehicles on this earth that can seat three rows of passengers in proper luxury. It also feels great from the driver's seat too. Strong engines and stable handling help this behemoth drive a lot smaller than it is, and great driver assists help ease fatigue on long road trips. Perhaps the best thing about the GLS lineup is its breadth. Sure, you could get the basic GLS 450 with the i6, but you could also grab the V8 580 with the off-road package, you could get the Autobahn ready AMG variant, or the Ultralux Maybach GLS with rear captain's chairs and leather pillows. And don't forget the champagne flutes. That AMG totally rocks, but it's a V8 cruise ship compared to the best driving SUV on sale. We're talking about the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT. Yes, it's $200,000 and it's not really all that practical because of the coupe body style, but practicality isn't the point of this beast. Not a single SUV on sale steers, stops, and grips the way the Cayenne Turbo GT does. Only Porsche could deliver a 5,000 pound crossover with brakes this strong and steering that delivers this level of feedback. It's best in the corners, but you can still enjoy the Turbo GT on a straight. Numbers like these and a soundtrack of a twin turbo V8 helps make the Turbo GT damn near irresistible.
All that said, there are folks who would definitely skip the Porsche's prodigious performance and gasoline gluttony for a hybrid luxury machine with a subtle demeanor. Those folks would love the Volvo XC60 Recharge. Volvo genuinely builds some of the best looking SUVs you can find. And in the case of the XC60, buyers get to pair that design with plug-in hybrid flexibility. That means a silent torquey EV for around town and a long haul cruiser for your next road trip. The cabin is as spacious as it is elegantly designed and true to form, Volvo is generous with the active safety features and its crash test ratings are excellent. It may not be as engaging to drive as some of its peers and the ride is a touch stiff for a luxury vehicle, but we totally get why people love these. But if you're done with trips to the gas station and would rather go all in on an EV, we can wholeheartedly recommend the BMW iX. We spent a whole year living with BMW's admittedly odd looking electric SUV, and we can confidently say it's among the best luxury vehicles on sale, electric or not. The iX is quick and engaging to drive, even in its base form. Between the plush seats and the coddling ride, it's incredibly comfortable. We actually recommend skipping the pricey M60 variant. BMW makes a great hands-free driving system to make your drives more relaxing. And in the Edmunds real-world EV range test, the big battery meant it could cruise more than 370 miles on a single charge. The interior is as visually impressive as it is comfortable. Turn on the driver's heated seat. Okay, I'm activating the driver's seat heating. And the rear seat and trunk area are properly huge. Tech is a strong point. The infotainment can have a bit of a learning curve, but the voice assistant is excellent and we adore the optional Bowers & Wilkins audio. We really wish we had another year with ours. Whatever the budget, whatever size, whatever engine or motor or combination of the two, there are outstanding luxury SUVs at every level. Now you know which are the best of the bunch. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and for information on these cars or literally anything else, head on over to Edmunds. Bye.